got the CS100, which is this one, the small one, and then the CS300 is the larger one. And I don't want to start quoting numbers without, you know, I don't want to give you wrong information too much. The one have two plugs, one before Yes, the yeah, edge yeah, one. yeah. Well, okay. it's, it's not really a plug because it's built for it, if you like, okay. but, but exactly right. Okay. But it's longer, yeah. both fore and aft, if you like, yeah. Okay. So it's not a plug because it's not an extension of the circle. It's, it's an old It stands on its own. I know what you mean, exactly, yeah. yeah. So I know what you mean. extensions yeah. to find out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. Exactly. Um, but yeah. This is uh, 110 seats, approximately, depending on the pitch. The 300 is 130 seats, again, depending on the pitch. Uh, but you can put, sorry? The range. Range, well, we're still working on that because, you know, like our performance numbers, at the Paris Air Show, we, we announced some new performance numbers. We haven't done a lot of long range testing yet. I've, I've flown us across. I'm going to Paris for the Paris Air Show up to Zurich and home again. I brought it down here this time. Um, we're talking about 3,000 nautical. That's what we're talking about. But in actual fact, we're finding more than that. Because I'm doing 3,000 nautical, I've still got two hours left. So we're finding the range is really, really good. Fuel burns are really low. Really, really low. So, approximately, you know, in my mind, ballpark numbers, I'm looking at about 4,000 pounds an hour. But uh, per side. No, oh, sorry, total, total. 4,000 pounds an hour, around 2,000 per side. But, you know, when you get light weights, when you start fuel, burning fuel and you start getting down and weights and higher altitudes, we're actually burning a lot less than that. Sure. So, you know, it's, 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 it's pretty good numbers. So we're getting uh, a rare, almost 10 hours flight time out of it, which is too long, too long. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, this aeroplane is pretty versatile because we're looking at steep approaches. We can do London City steep approaches. Oh, you do? Yeah, it's designed for it. It's designed for it because uh, size of aircraft. Yeah, yeah, it'll be the largest aircraft that has been in the London city yet. Um, but yeah, so we're looking at steep approaches, uh, high altitude airports, 14,500 foot altitude takeoff and landing. It's reasonably short takeoff and landing. So you know, like short runways like London City, like yeah. uh, Toronto Island. Uh, so we have the performance. We've got quite big engines for the size of the uh, size of the airplane. It's giving us a you know, pretty good performance. Is our maximum. Uh, I've been, you know, and, and we're regularly cruising at light weights on these long range flights I'm doing, regularly cruising at 41. So, yeah. The cabin pressure is at. Yeah, the max diff I think is about one, it's 8.7 diff. So it's, well, it's at around 8,000 feet of cabin out of shore. It's, it's pretty, you know, how much, it's pretty. How much food is there? The diff, 8,000, 8.7. So I think it's at 8,000 foot cabin altitude. 8,000 foot. Yeah, 8,000. Yeah. Okay. yeah. set up the range yet or is it still uh, I heard no. that you know they were you guys were still trying to tweak the, the 100 no, no, no. it's uh, it's actually um, the range is, is set okay uh, in terms of targets and the flight test has confirmed with them so we are the CS100 is 3100 nautical miles okay the CS300 is 33 now we are flight testing the aircraft so it's all uh, uh, it's all approved and, and uh, you know, proven performance. 
What's the MTAL? The MTAL for the CS100 is 134,000 pounds. For the CS300 is 150. Is this the typical uh, single uh, single class configuration? The one here on, on this one? Yeah, well, it's, it's not typical because this is a flight test day. Yeah, So it's sure. a prototype. Uh, and, and some of the, 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 you see, the seat pitch is different. Ah, so, for your for potential customers to yeah, see. Yeah, just to, oh, to yes, be able yes, to yes, showcase yes. different seat pitch. Okay. Uh, and then it's, uh, you know, we have business class, but it's a bit staggered business class. So it's, it's not a typical configuration, Okay. but it's indicative, I should say. Uh, to a certain level, is, is it indicative? As you can experience 30 inch pitch, 32 inch pitch, uh, which are typical. Entry customers class. again in the Middle East or? Well, for sure, we are having conversation with a number of customers, all medium, large. Okay. It's it's a great product. It's a it's a groundbreaking aircraft. Nothing like this has been uh, has been done for this market segment in, in a long time. So the aircraft has value. Now that we actually can, can showcase it in real yeah. life that uh, is speeding up discussions with airliners, so for sure we will be in the position of... Full picture. A full Jefferson chart. 
display the the uh, the aircraft yeah. in the, the, the aerodrome. I mean, yeah. the taxiway yeah. and so on. So, so where, where, where is the aircraft now in the, in the aircraft? Okay, so all I do is bring my scale down. Mm. Okay, and there's the airport. There's the runway. Your input. Do you have any taxiways? Yeah, but yeah, this this database does not have the taxiways yet, but yes, it yeah. will do, yes. and it will show you exactly where the airplane yeah, is. Where is yeah. it? And where's the taxiway? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah, yeah, it's all it's all there, but it's not fitted on this airplane yet. And even the approach plates and all. No, yes, it's not, yeah. not fitted. No, exactly. Yeah, okay. yeah, it's not fitted yet. But uh, but that's just a matter of database. It's just data. Yeah, it's yeah. Data, yes, yeah. It's only plugging things. Yeah, yeah, it's just software. Because this is still an experimental test aeroplane, we don't fly input. around the world very much. Okay. So when we do like these sort of things, we haven't got the data. Exactly. But yeah. if this was a, a passenger aeroplane, then uh, yes, for sure. For sure. All yeah. that is there. Yeah. Yes, for sure. But it's good for the crew of flying around. Oh, yeah. 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 So. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's big. It's big. It's comfortable. It is. A very big that's windows. That's why. Yeah. Very big windows. With the business class uh, seat here, you can just go and sleep. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Yes. Um, no, the projector, this projector, we took the projector out and we took it into another aeroplane. So it's not fitted at the moment. No, no, it comes Yeah, uh, it's option. Yeah, it's an option. Is it different between the control and the Maybe, I'm not sure, I can't, I'm not sure. I'm a pilot for the company, I'm not a sales guy, but I'm pretty sure that there is, you know. Um, yeah, now this is going to be a very good aeroplane for this region, very good, it's, it's, a, it's a performance aeroplane. The temperatures don't affect it too much. We have a lot of surface power, because you know, you know, when it's very hot, you get the pressure out, you, you lose a lot. Now we're going to lose, of course, as well. But, but the aeroplane is designed to take off the landing up to 14,500 feet airport altitudes. So that's pretty high. That's very high. That's very high. Now, obviously, I we're think not going to. The highest is Sunhouse, and I thought it was uh, the highest airport elevation. In this region? Sunhouse, Sunhouse, Sunhouse. I would say uh, Sunhouse. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a problem. Now, we might not take full load. That's fine, of course. But okay, you know. decided to go with the, the side six. sticks. Was it just a space issue or? Uh, it was a big debate. I remember the debate very well. Um, I was involved in the program, but not, I didn't have much power at those times. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, the reason we went with side stick, it's, it's lighter, okay. okay. Um, the control column, so we have a control column in our glass cockpit global. And one of the bad, one of the downsides is the control columns here somewhere. Yeah. And you can't see your displays. You can't see all of the displays. This way here, we've got a lot of information down the bottom here. Mm -hmm. And what it means is that, uh, you know, right now we've got unlimited visibility Absolutely. with a side stick. Absolutely. And it's only a philosophical thing, really. I mean, but are, uh, are pilots on any CRJs type that they need? Special training for the C series. Yeah, well, both both Steve and I are both read on the C, on the uh, CRJ and on this airplane. Okay. So, but yes, they need, every pilot needs special training. Okay. We only have one 300 flying. Okay. Um, we've been concentrating on certifying the 100. That'll be certified this month. Wonderful. So when we got type cert, they'll be type cert, and then we got a little bit more testing on the 300 for type cert on the 300. Okay. But the 300 and the 100 are exactly the same airplane. If we were sitting here.